a uh, predictable, efficient, uh, you know, regulatory pathway is important to, uh, to all of our companies, and that's probably highest on our list. The approaches to automation within the industry are, are significantly different than they were 10 years ago. The hurdles for getting products approved, yes. uh, particularly in the U.S. marketplace. I mean, it's, uh, we've all felt it, I know we've all felt it in this room here. Uh, from five to 10 years ago, the requirements now to get a product approved and uh, the type of clinical work that's required to get those product approved has changed drastically. The challenge in the industry is growth and it's the factors that are relating to growth. What we're looking for is, is, a, is a more balanced approach to, to uh, a regulatory environment, a risk-based approach to regulatory environment. The playing field today is not level. I would say uh, consistency uh, in the regulatory process and um, in, in, in the most tactful way, I would say that uh, our technology is moving so rapidly that it's entirely possible, it, it, it's very difficult, uh, and, and therefore entirely possible that uh, the science is going faster than the reviewer's ability to keep up. That we have a job to do as a diagnostics industry to demonstrate the value that diagnostics brings to a patient, to healthcare society, mm -hmm. Uh, and a clinician, and I think it's no different in the United States. I mean, today we know we spend only about uh, two percent of our overall healthcare budgets on diagnostics, and yet they're used in more than sixty percent of yep. of clinical decision making. We're going to have to keep taking up our game on this health health economics because we've got to be part of that with the, that world, or they're going to make their own decisions on these. But I would say today it's predominantly uh, bringing those markets up because they also are very high volume markets in many ways. Up to, uh, up, up to some of the levels that we have also in our, uh, the westernized countries as well. But also the advent of uh, bringing forth more biomarkers for a wide range of cancers we think is a big opportunity. The whole area of infectious disease and, and uh, healthcare associated infect infections, whether it's in the, uh, the US, Europe, or in a less developed market is an enormous uh, problem. So we see big opportunities there as well. The true driver to diagnostics playing more than 2% of that healthcare pie is the medical value piece. We need to sorely revamp this antiquated CPT system that we have today and get to uh, being able to reward and encourage uh, the private sector and also public sector to invest appropriately in innovations.